My name's Mike DuBose. I'm the staff photojournalist for United Methodist News. I like to photograph real people doing real things in the real world. And, and it doesn't matter so much to me what they're doing. I, I like seeing people uh, plow their field or, or carry their water or feed the pigs. It's legit to, to be allowed into somebody's, somebody's real life. I have noticed over many trips to Africa over many years, uh, in the mornings when I would take a little walk for exercise, I've seen women and girls carrying buckets of water on their heads. There are so many people in this world that don't have access to clean water. And it was um, something that just stayed with me over many years. And I was committed to trying to tell this story. So we rely on, um, local hosts who make all this possible. So in Malawi, uh, Mercy Chikosi hosted us. So she managed to get us into this rural village at 4.30 in the morning, completely dark. And reporter Kathy Gilbert and I found ourselves walking with the women um, through cornfields and, and crossing creeks and in the mud by the light of like an occasional flashlight and a couple of cell phones. The women sang to each other to kind of buck up their spirits and warn off any animals that might be in the bushes. And we arrived at the muddy open pit where they drew their water just as the sun was starting to come up in the east. And you could just see that this water was dark, like dark brown and women were holding on to plants on the side of this steep pit and filling these heavy buckets full of water and then had to carry it back through the cornfields and back across the creek and get back to their village. They had to bathe their children, get them ready for school, cook breakfast, all with that water from, from the muddy pit. I, I do worry that I might sometimes be the cause of somebody stumbling because it is unusual to have a, a, a tall, skinny white guy crouching in the, in the bushes as you're trying to walk across and, and carefully balance your bucket. Well, one of the women fell and she broke her bucket and there's not a Walmart nearby. I don't know where she got the original bucket, but I was just bereft. And, and Kathy and I talked to our host, Mercy, and we said, Mercy, we, we have got to replace our bucket. So we drove into the nearest town of any size and, and bought her another bucket and brought it back to her. It is amazing to me that their lives hinge on these little pieces that without the bucket, there's no, no water to drink. So she needed that bucket. Emily was a high school student in Masvingo, Zimbabwe. And uh, we walked with her and a classmate after school one day down this red dirt road, uh, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And as we got close to the spring, uh, everybody in our little group stopped and took off their shoes. And I said, well, why, why are we doing that? And uh, Emily said, the site is sacred. So uh, reporter Kathy Gilbert and I both took off our shoes and, and waded across the little creek and over a rock and down to the spring where Emily filled her bucket, walked up this steep rock, didn't spill a drop, hear that they feel that the water, which is the source of all life is sacred, was just a beautiful experience. There's nothing more precious or more intimate than somebody's story, their, their, their very self. And for them to allow you into their lives in a way that allows you to make meaningful, legitimate photographs is a great honor. So I always try to treat their story with dignity, to show their strength in the midst of adversity, and to help people um, in our viewing audience see and learn and understand that they have the same dreams and aspirations that we do, their circumstances may be different, but they have the same dreams for their children that we have for ours.